Good day to the Narans on the go and in the know, October 28, 2019, no hype, no BS, just the facts, hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next post, I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert, and know that today, we are one day closer than yesterday. First article of interest, SADR invites Abdul Mahdi to come to Parliament to announce early elections. October 28, 2019 10:33 Baghdad, SADR leader, Mokada al-SADR, on Monday called on Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to come to Parliament to announce early elections, SADR said in a statement received by Al Sumeria News, Brother Adel Abdul Mahdi must attend under the Dome of Parliament to announce early elections under the supervision of the United Nations and a long legal period stressing that during this period take all necessary measures to change the Electoral Commission and its law and present it to the people. In his statement, SADR called for early elections without the participation of the current parties, except by the consent of the people. SADR addressed the demonstrators, saying, Revolutionaries, I rank Parliament vote, all my pictures only after unfair legal procedures, and their session deputies free of accountability of spoilers ending his statement with the word continue. It is noteworthy that the House of Representatives voted during its meeting today to cancel the combination of two salaries, including the privileges of Rafa, and the abolition of the privileges and allocations of the three presidencies and deputies, ministers and senior officials, as well as to vote to form a committee to amend the Constitution within four months and dissolve the provincial councils. Next article of interest. Abdul Mahdi office response to LSADR, cannot hold early elections, only if the dissolution of parliament self, October 28, 2019-193 Baghdad al-Masala, the office of the Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi, on Monday, October 28, 2019, to the call of the leader of the Sadrist movement Mikada al-SADR, to dissolve the House of Representatives and call for early parliamentary elections, government spokesman Saad al-Hadithi says, SADR pointed to the point of amendment of the election law and the Council of the Commission and Abdul Mahdi indicated that this change will be signed, Parliament and not the authority of the Prime Minister. This alliance announced on Monday, October 28, 2019, seeking to pass five points during the current stage, indicating that the removal of the government of Abdul Mahdi and the amendment of the election law and dissolve the House of Representatives. The deputy for Sahran Asad the Abdul Sada said that the alliance SAR works and through its communication with the rest of the other blocs to pass five points among the priorities of the demonstrators. He added that the first step is to dismiss the government of Adel Abdul Mahdi and then go to amend the election law, pointing out that the third step lies in approving the 2020 budget to ensure the conduct of the country. He explained that the fourth and fifth stage comes recently, the dissolution of the House of Representatives and the call for early elections under international supervision. SADR leader Mokada al-SADR on Monday called on Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to come to Parliament to announce early elections. The obelisk next article of interest, IMF, unemployment and sluggish economic growth are driving demonstrations in Iraq and Ibanan. October 28, 2019 Baghdad, unemployment along with sluggish economic growth has prompted protests in several Arab countries, the International Monetary Fund said on Monday, as Iraq. Lebanon and other countries are protesting against corruption and economic decline. In a report on economic performance in the region, the IMF said social tensions in Arab countries are one of several factors that have kept economic growth in the region weak. Two weeks ago, the IMF expected growth in the Middle East and North Africa to be only 0.1%, from 1.2% in April, reflecting weakness in the economies of a crisis-hit region, Jihad Azur. The fund director for the Middle East and Central Asia told AFP that the growth levels in the countries of the region are lower than needed to deal with the issue of unemployment. We are in an area where youth unemployment exceeds 25 to 30 percent, and to address this needs to grow between 1 and 2 percent, he said. Lebanon has witnessed more than 10 days of mass demonstrations condemning corruption and economic deterioration, and demanding political change in job opportunities. In Iraq, Thousands are taking part in demonstrations for the same reasons, as part of a protest movement that has killed and injured hundreds. Demonstrations are taking place in Sudan, Algeria, Egypt and other countries. 
Azar said that the government should work quickly to rectify these imbalances and restore confidence citizens by reforming the financial situation and reducing spending. The IMF also warned in a report on Monday that government debt rates have become very high in some countries in the region, exceeding the threshold of 85% of GDP as a general rate, and more than 150% in Lebanon and Iraq. The cost of debt is high, and it prevents the investments necessary for the region's long-term economic future, the IMF said. Next article of interest. The House of Representatives forms a committee to amend the Constitution within a period not exceeding four months. Monday, October 28, 2019 at 16.2 p.m. Baghdad Sky Press, the House of Representatives decided today to form a committee to amend the Constitution within a period not exceeding four months. Sources said that the House of Representatives decided under Article 142 of the Constitution, the formation of a special parliamentary committee representing all components for the purpose of making amendments to the Constitution and delivered to the House of Representatives during the period does not exceed only four months. He continued that, voted to authorize the governor to manage financial and administrative matters and receive blood from the provincial council and the House of Representatives under the supervision and control of the governors until the elections. He voted that the Conservatives submit their financial budgets to the Finance Committee of the House of Representatives. The Parliament voted during its session, chaired by Halbasi and the presence of 222 deputies, to end the work of district councils in districts and local councils. Next article of interest, urgent Parliament votes to cancel all privileges of senior officials of the state. Baghdad where October 28, 2019 1546, the Iraqi Council of Representatives voted on Monday to cancel all allocations for the three presidencies, members of parliament, senior officials and general managers. A source familiar with where that the House of Representatives voted to cancel all the privileges and allocations of the three presidencies and members of the House of Representatives and senior officials, advisors and ministers, general directors and independent bodies in the Judiciary and the Integrity Commission in the Federal Court and the Supreme Judicial Council and governors and those who are as of today. The House of Representatives had held earlier in the day its own session chaired by the President of the Council Mohammed Halbasi to discuss the demands of the demonstrators. Next article of interest, calls to speed up legislation in the oil and gas law. Monday, October 28, 2019 Baghdad Farah al kafaf as part of its reforms, the government pledged to continue addressing the parliament and enacting the long-awaited oil and gas law by the Iraqi street for its importance in establishing a clear and transparent oil policy that would lead to regulating the oil relationship between the center and the region and to the proper dealings between the Iraqi and foreign giant investment companies and institutions. More importantly, evenly distributing revenues will bring development to the country. Strategic factors, in this regard, the oil expert Hussein Al-Marzak told Al-Saba the legislation of this law has great economic feasibility working to achieve several strategic factors, including attracting international oil companies' known investment in its prudence, and the development of a clear policy that makes oil institutions competitive, as these factors contribute to the advancement the reality of public oil companies and the performance of their role effectively, which leads to block the path to financial and administrative corruption. Al-Marzak added that the oil and gas law establishes and legislates a legal cover for oil operations in Iraq, which gives legitimacy for exploration, extraction and production, which has a weight in the international and international milieus, especially as it regulates the relationship between Iraq and producing and non-producing countries and charts transparency and dealing, as will be a reference it is important to prevent disputes between the center and the Kurdistan region and thus lead to an increase in production and storage of crude oil and gases emitted during the extraction operations, which need a reference to explain the way in which they work, market and export, productive sectors. The expert finds that the delay in the passage of the oil and gas law negatively affects the economy of the country, which became mainly dependent on oil revenues, which in turn caused paralysis in other productive sectors pointing out that oil wealth owned by the country can support and do sectors of industry and agriculture, construction that contributes to solving the housing crisis, without exporting it to countries there. The Prime Minister announced the signing of an agreement with Norway during the Norwegian Prime Minister's recent visit to Baghdad, Erna Solberg, 
includes cooperation under the slogan Oil for Development, which the government is working to achieve, which stimulates the development process in all provinces and move the economy. Almarzak explained that there is a hierarchical relationship between the oil and the gas law and other laws, including the law of the National Oil Company, the law of investment and other service laws, as it paves the way to legislate and apply important laws relating to agriculture and industry, pointing out that oil enters the petrochemical industry hand and fertilizer on the one hand for employment employment, is for the foundations of the development of the oil sector. Marzok pointed out that its development is through the formation of a higher council through which the management of this vital sector, which is expected to achieve a significant increase in the movement of labor through the employment of large numbers of labor in this sector. When this happens, he explained that the formation of this council will establish a modern and sophisticated system for the management of oil operations in Iraq, including the development of strategies, policies and plans for long, medium and short term while expanding the use of direct effort in the Iraqi public and private sectors and foreign to implement oil operations in Iraq, based on the latest technology and economy market. However, the perception of oil wealth in Iraq has become local, according to Al Marzak, which is that each region views the underground as the king of the region, and contrary to the constitution stipulates that oil belongs to the entire Iraqi people must follow the principle of the distribution of oil benefits between all governorates qual. Next article of interest, Saleh stresses the need to set a time limit for the completion of the draft electoral law. October 28, 2019 1653 Baghdad, the president of the Republic Baram Saleh, said on Monday, that the draft election law is an essential basis for political and economic reform in the country. Saleh said during a meeting at the Peace Palace in Baghdad to discuss the draft electoral law, according to the statement of his media office, must set a time limit for the completion of the project and within a short period because it is a real popular and political demand, and the need to coordinate with the United Nations in the technical side and to benefit from the expertise and experience in this he added that the country will be fine if we bring a law that represents and meets the aspirations of citizens. The president stressed the importance of the draft law to include a fair representation of the components, and give them importance to achieve their legitimate aspirations, indicating that the formation of the independent electoral commission must be away from politicization. During the meeting, which was attended by representatives of the United Nations and universities, trade unions and professional associations, as well as a number of specialists, Extensive discussions by the attendees to enrich the draft ideas to reach the final version, especially with regard to the electoral districts, and the formation of the Independent Electoral Commission to achieve the aspirations of Iraqis' fair elections. Next article of interest, Victory, we will present the dismissal of the Prime Minister during the Parliament session today, 28 October, 2019 Baghdad, said a coalition victory on day. His intention to collect signatures to dismiss the overment of Del Abdul Mahdi during today's eating, noting that the Yemen's of the Parliament to end the demonstrations and silence the treaty across the overment accountable. The coalition MP Nana Shaker Jaidat said in a statement to the information that the request for the dismissal of Prime Minister Del Abdul Mahdi was admitted a month ago by the coalition, but the presidency of Parliament confirmed that it is not permissible to dismiss without questioning has been handed over the interrogation book has already been moved. Jaidat added, the political parties are proceeding with the decision to end the rule of Prime Minister Del Abdul Mahdi because of his failure to fight corruption and end the suffering of citizens. She pointed out that Parliament is obliged to end the demonstrations and to respond to the demands of the demonstrators to complete a quorum today to approve reform packages. Next article of interest, Halbasi, interrogation of Abdul Mahdi and four ministers next month, October 28, 2019-1822. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mohammed Halbasi, interrogation requests that have been submitted to the Presidency of Parliament, Halabusi said in the parliamentary session. Currently held questioning the Minister of Oil Thamer Gedbin and the Minister of Electricity Lawi'a al khatib and the Minister of Industry Abdullah al Jubari and the Minister of Finance Fuad Hussein and the questioning of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, indicating that completed the procedures formally and objectively questioned the Minister of Oil, Industry and Agriculture. He explained that interrogations will be in the month of November next. Next article of interest. Baghdad exhibition kicks off Friday with the participation of more than 23 countries.
October 28, 2019 18 The General Company for Trade Fairs revealed the participation of more than 23 countries and 800 local and international companies in the 46th session of the Baghdad International Fair, while preparing a plan to facilitate the entry of citizens and delegations participating in this annual carnival and contribute to its success. Director General of the company Sarma Taha said said in a press statement, the company received offers to participate in the next Baghdad Fair, which will be held during the period between 1-10 of November next from more than 23 Arab and foreign countries and 800 local and international companies, pointing to there are countries and companies participating for the first time in the sessions of the exhibition, which indicates their desire to open up to the Iraqi markets make deals and partnerships with ever seen here Iraq, in addition to the act that the exhibition provides the opportunity for local companies to see the latest developments and global inventions in various medical, engineering, agricultural, industrial and other fields. On the other hand, Saeed stressed that the company, in an effort to ensure the participation of the largest number of citizens in this session, has taken several steps to ease their procedures for those wishing to enter the pavilions of Baghdad International Fair with ease to allow them to see and visit the largest number of places of participating companies in the next session. Next article of interest, Advanced Strategies in Budget Design and Islamic Bank, 28 October, 2019 CBI.IQ. The Center for Banking Studies in the Central Bank of Iraq concluded the course Advanced Strategies in Designing Budgets in the Islamic Bank in the Ministry of Finance of the Kurdistan region in Erbil. Participated in this session, which lasted for five consecutive days, a number of employees of civil banks and government approved in Iraq and the Kurdistan region. Next article of interest, Deputy. Parliament will hold consecutive sessions to pass all the reform packages on the demonstrations. 28 October, 2019, MP from the Coalition of Sarin Abbas Alawi, on Monday, the House of Representatives intends to hold consecutive sessions throughout this week to pass reform packages submitted by the government, indicating that all political blocs are obliged to attend during today's meeting. Ali Ali said in a statement to the information that the political situation in the country will not bear more procrastination and the parliament and political blocs to respond to the demands of the demonstrators. He added that the lack of attendance during today's meeting will lead to fueling the situation and hold the House of Representatives responsible for government and service failures in the country. He explained that the deputies of the bloc responded to the request of the meeting and they are waiting for the rest of the political blocs to vote on a series of reform packages demanded by demonstrations, stressing that the House of Representatives will hold consecutive sessions this week to pass all the packages submitted by the government. More articles of interest to come. Hit that subscribe button and the alert bell so you don't miss my next post. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Dinarayan.